Akermantia was discovered in 2004 by the lab of uh, Professor uh, Willem de Vos. And after the isolation and the description, the bacteria was used by the laboratory of Patrice Cani in order to decipher that action. So Akermantia is associated with uh, a better uh, metabolic profile, with uh, uh, lower inflammation, insulin resistance, and cholesterol. But this is only observation and and a correlation doesn't mean uh, causation. So in a proof of concept to these, to these uh, Carrie Daywood in 2012, Amandine Evrard demonstrated that the administration of the bacteria in its own um, uh, living form in a diet-induced obesity model of mice is able to reduce body gain weight, fat mass uh, gain, to decrease insulin resistance and uh, uh, inflammation in tissue. And this observation mostly link to the effect of the bacteria in the gut barrier function as the bacteria is able to increase mucus sickness and the production of antimicrobial peptides such as uh, Reg3 uh, gamma. In human, the same observation were done, but uh, as for mice, observation and correlation are not causation. But before to go to humans, we have to tackle some uh, issues. And the first one was the medium in which the bacteria is grown, because for mice, uh, mucus uh, coming from uh, animals is possible, but for humans, it's not possible. So we had to develop a synthetic medium. This is the first point. The second point is the stability of the bacteria because it's a strictly anaerobic strain. So in order to be stable for a human administration, you have to find a way to stabilize the bacteria. And one option is uh, pasteurization. The third point also is to uh, be sure that pasteurization and the mod modification of the me medium is safe for humans. And the three points were tackled by uh, the laboratory. First, they develop a synthetic medium in which they observe that the bacteria is able to grow as in a mucus medium and that this uh, synthetic uh, form is also able to tackle the different cardiometabolic disorder induced by a diet uh, uh, rich in lipids. The stabilization of the bacteria uh, was made thanks to pasteurization because in recent literature, uh, with, um, the literature sorry, uh, described that heat eating or tindalization of pasteurization of probiotics is able to, pass to, to keep the, the effect of the bacteria and to give uh, stability. So in one study uh, published in Nature Medicine in 2017, uh, Hubert Plovier demonstrated that the pasteurization Rhizacarmentia is able to um, uh, to have a more efficient uh, impact of uh, glucose homeostasis and to normalize also body weight gain. And in other part of the study, he also demonstrated that the synthetic form of the bacteria is as active as the bacteria that has been grown in uh, mucus medium. And the safety for finally has been also uh, demonstrated in a publication that has been published last year and made by uh, Dr. Céline Druart, in which she demonstrating respecting the US FDA and the EFSA guidelines that the bacteria has no genotoxicity effect in vitro nor in vivo during a subacute study and a 19 day uh, study. So overcoming all these points we were able to uh, um, design a clinical 2D in human and this is uh, what have been done and published in Nature Medicine. In this uh, study, that was first uh, safety study, we enroll a patient with metabolic disorders in order to see the safety, but maybe to uh, have a positive effect on their metabolic profile. And we demonstrated that the bacteria, the air life form, and also the pasteur life form are both uh, safe because after 15 days of supplementation or at the end of the experiment, uh, three months later, the uh, safety was uh, uh, perfect <laughs> and also the observance of the patient uh, rise to uh, is near to 100%. Uh,
And based on all this work, we were able to uh, construct um, EFSA dossier in order to uh, sell Ackermansia as a novel food product. And just this September, the 1st of September, we received a positive opinion from EFSA, from EFSA allowing us to uh, sell the bacteria as a dietary supplement or as a uh, food supplement for medical purpose. And we aim at Amancia to develop a dietary supplement in order to tackle cardiometabolic diseases uh, in the next few months and more probably in the beginning of 2022. And the next step is the of research are uh, to uh, validate this time the effect of the bacteria in another clinical study with more people included and with the primary objective to have a, a really impact on the cardiometabolic disorders.